welcome to my channel life with toya if it's your first time here my name is toya and today we are going to be setting up our budget for pay period february the 6th through february the 19th i guess i've calmed down a little bit if you saw my last video you saw my rant about the people i rent from y'all it is a struggle if you are interested in that rant please be sure to check that last video um and or you can wait and i will link it in the play notes at the end of this video for you now i went on ahead and took the liberty to get this one started but i am going to finish it with you guys so today this budget we're working with is 1278 um of course i don't share my giving and i don't share my rent amount we have gotten to the point since i have paid off my car that we can take the rent and we can split it in two. So from here on out, there will always be rent, even though I don't always pay rent every check. I get paid bi-weekly, so I don't pay my rent bi-weekly, but I will be putting the money for my rent to the side bi-weekly. And uh, we will be replenishing that $100 um, back into the emergency fund. If you wanna know why I had to take that money out, y'all yeah, please be sure to watch the last video. And we are gonna to contribute $250 to debt. Um, so it's gonna be a credit card payment um, that we're gonna make. And that's gonna give us a total of $350. So $12.78 minus $350 leaves us $9.28. And this check is a little bit higher because it is my bonus check. Okay, so. Now, we are still paying for Coursera. I am going to buckle down and put some time on my calendar for me to do the digital marketing marketing course. I did start doing the, um, the project management course. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the digital marketing because I feel like that class would be beneficial to me especially with the things that i do in regards to um i'm going to be working on some more digital work worksheets and digital savings um goals sheets and stuff so digital marketing would be beneficial for me in that area so um i have canva and that's going to come out that's 15. Um, my utility bill is like 65 66 dollars um, somewhere in there. So I budgeted 70. Um, I usually try to budget hundred dollars, but, um, and I may go back next month to budgeting hundred dollars for it. That way we can help build that buffer. I think I'm going to go for a, a buffer goal of 500. Um, and then car insurance is 190. Of course, this includes runner's insurance and all of that good stuff too. So 40 plus 15 plus 70 plus 190. That is $315. Oh, I already added that up. So 928 minus 315 is 613. I do not do the change in the budget, but I do do the change in the actual. So we're gonna bring that 613 over and I'm gonna see how much. So basically in gas, y'all, we're just gonna pretend like we don't have. So I started out with $50. But I don't know what I was doing, but I took my envelopes out of my wallet and I left them on my desk and I went to Walmart to get some groceries. And luckily it was just a like, quick grocery run. So I spent like $15 and um, I had to use my credit card. So I put my gas on my credit card and then pay the cash on the credit card in the store. And I have not been yet. This is the second time I've done that. I need to get on top of this. <laughs> But um, so this $75 is going to the credit card. Uh, that's my gas card. It's going to that card. So we're going to act like there's nothing in here. And we're going to put another $50 uh, toward the gas. Groceries. I uh, Let's take these dollars out and put them in the dollar box. Okay. We're going to put this to the side. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of grocery shopping, as you can see. This is $60, so I try to do 125. So 125 minus 60 is 65. So we're gonna put $65. What I do with my pen, girl? Here you go. <laughs> so we're gonna put 65 towards groceries. 
households. I think it's just easier to do it this way um, versus taking all this money out, putting in sink, putting it in sinking funds when I can just uh, put the difference down here in sinking funds. But we're gonna see what we have. We're gonna have left households. Um, I haven't spent anything in households. I am gonna let's put ten dollars in here because I now need paper towels, probably some tissue. Um, my mom is going to bring me some cleaning products, so I don't need to get any more of that. I don't know if she's going to, I don't even need any laundry detergent. Um, but I do need, let's do 15. We're going to add 15 because I do need some, um, some, uh, shower gel We're running low on that. Dining out. This is a big one. Um, because let's take a look at this calendar, y'all. Let's. <laughs> I know I have some bills and I mean not bills. I know I have some financial goals and stuff, but I'm trying to live too, y'all. I am really trying to live too. So, um, and depending on when I move, I may have to postpone my birthday trip because if I move in the first weekend of March, I'm not gonna want to drive the second weekend of March. But we're gonna see. So we did this already. Um, and should I dare check rents? Should I dare check rent because the first part has come out, but the second part will come out tomorrow or Wednesday because I paid it after five, uh, after five o'clock. And I think you have until midnight to pay it to in order. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it tomorrow. I'm gonna check it tomorrow. And when we do our maybe we check in, I'm gonna let y'all know if they charge me a late fee or not. Because if they charge me a late fee, if they charge me a late fee, your girl gonna be she's gonna be mad, right? But um the phone bill is actually on the process of coming out. Um I have a orchid class. Um and I have a doctor's appointments, which I need to, uh, that's Thursday morning. I need to put my health envelope in the, in my purse, just in case I have a copay. I shouldn't, but just in case. There's a wine dinner on the 8th that I have to pay for, which is $160. I made my reservation for, which I may, it's 162, 162. This one is approximately going to be the same, um, or it could be just the 125 on Eventbrite, but just to be sure, we're going to budget $162 for that. And this dinner has already been paid for. So I've never done three wine dinners on one pay period. So, oh, y'all, let's do this together. <laughs> let's get this handy dandy white out. And white out this car note. Because, baby, if we had to pay that car note, I would not be going to these dinners. Okay. So, this is paid for. This one is not, and this one is not. They're both about the same price. So, um, I would want to do those two. So, 162 times two. Oh, wait. <laughs> I must have already edited it together and then said times two. So, it's $324. So, let's just write it in. If it doesn't work out, <clears throat> mm. and then we're just not going to do anything for fun money, which, oh yeah, fun money's, fun money stay empty, y'all. I don't know what I'd be doing with fun money. I'd probably be eating it. <laughs> wait, wait, we still got money in dining out. We got $15. So 324 minus 15 is 309. So we'll just say 310. Let's put 310 in here. I know y'all are like $310 to go out to eat, y'all. Everybody is trying to have dinners. I guess it's because it's, it's February. And the way Valentine's Day fell, it fell in the middle of the week. So everybody is having these Valentine's dinners. Ooh. Okay. Um, my friend is having a Galentine's night. That's $35. We're just playing with numbers, y'all. We can always flip it. But 35 
So we're going to say 40. Yeah, I bet you this is way. Let's see. <laughs> 50 plus 65 plus 15 plus 310 plus 40. 480 minus 613, which is $133. Okay, so Harris 34, Prime is 10, car maintenance. Okay, this is usually how I do this, so I can make sure that I don't over budget the sinking funds. So we're going to go ahead and subtract that 34. We're going to go ahead and subtract that 10. And we're going to put 40. Girl, where is health? <laughs> health and then challenge. We're going to put 30 in a car. Um, we're going to do 25 for the challenge and 34 for health. So I've already filed my taxes and I plan on budgeting my taxes with you guys. Um, so I want to wait until it actually hits my account. So I'm not kind of waiting for it. I am going to take a chunk of that and put it towards my buffer. And uh, we are going to take a chunk of it and do um, toward my health because as you guys know, I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled in April, so I'm trying to come up with my portion, which I still have no idea how much that is because I'm still waiting on them to call me back to give me that estimate. So we're going to do a 20 and a 5 for the challenge. So... Let's add this up for plus 10, plus 30, plus 34, plus 25 is 133. Now, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do the second wine dinner. I may not, so I may have that amount to put toward my teeth, um, wisdom teeth, getting pulled out. All right. So that should leave me at a zero balance. So we're going to take the 1278 minus, and we're going to go ahead and add all of this up. So 350 plus 315 plus 480 plus 133 equals 1278. That is a zero base budget, you guys. So I know this dining out looks like a lot, <laughs> but I like to take myself out to the wine dinners that they have. I really love wine dinners. They make me happy. They make me feel good. And I usually only do it once, usually when they have them. So I probably won't do any more wine dinners until like midsummer or whatever. Um, and I'll probably, probably just try to do one or two. Um but it's like all the other restaurants are trying to pick up on it. And it's just like everybody's doing them now. So, but I'm going to have to miss out on some. Um, let's see. So I am putting $100 toward emergency fund and I am paying $250 towards debt. I may not do one of the wine dinners. This is if I do both. So, because I know some people might have something to say and you're going to be in the comment section like, girl, dude, weren't you just stressing about that extra rent last check but it wasn't about that it was about the principle don't do something and then not follow through and then now it it's an emergency for me and i have to pull for my emergency fund for it i don't have to pull for my emergency fund to do this okay so that is that thanks so much for tuning in to life with toya if you like this kind of content please be sure to comment like and subscribe until next time, enjoy life with Toya.